हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू मेक ए मूवी इन्फो ऐप इन जावास्क्रिप्ट यूजिंग द ओपन मूवी डेटाबेस एपीआई सो बेसिकली दिस इज एप्लीकेशन हियर यू कैन जस्ट टाइप एनी मूवी नेम लेट सपोज आई टाइप हियर नो एंट्री एंड इफ आई क्लिक सर्च यू विल सी दैट इट विल बी गिविंग द पिक्चर पोस्टर हेयर अलॉन्ग साइड विद सम इंफॉर्मेशन टाइटल ऑफ द मूवी रिलीज डेट एंड टाइम ऑल्सो टोटल टाइम ऑफ द मूवी and it will also give you the type of movie director and all the actors which performed in this movie i can just change the movie name and click on search you will see that different movies there life in metro again the same kind of information is returned here if i just right click inspect and go to the console here so you will see that it will return a json object to us all this information is contained inside this object and we are fetching this information from this open movie database api so just go to google and type here omd api.com and this is a website here and this is the api we are using here so basically this is the interface here if you just give it a title life in a metro this is the movie name and you can even provide the year as well plot as well and the response you can get in two formats either in xml or json json is default here if i click search you will see that it will perform this query and now it will re return the re response as well so in this way guys so i can just also uh, tell you one more movie let's suppose uh, chakte click search you will see that same result is returned so we will be building this application from scratch so first of all get the api key here you need to register here so click on the api key option and here you need to register register first of all click on the free option and here you need to provide email name and last name i have already provided that and this is the api key that i got and also you need to verify your account as well so this url will have there if you click this you will be seeing this message that your key is activated and now this is my api key so yours will be different so just don't copy mine and uh, now just create a index.html file and here just give it a title that is uh, movie info app in javascript so let me just select this so this will be movie info app in javascript so for this project we are using some bootstrap so you only need the cdn of the css so just copy it and after the title make a link tag copy copy paste the cdn and also for making the ajax request we are you also using jquery so just grab the jquery cdn after the body paste it like this and now for the making the interface we will use the container class of bootstrap inside this we will have a heading here so we will be having a h1 heading so just wait i am writing it so h1 so this will be simply be movie info app mm, app so you can just give it a class bootstrap class of text center to make the heading in the center position and margin top from 5 so this will create some space at the top and now this if i reload the page you will see that movie info app and now we will be uh, constructing our form here so just after it we will be having a simple form tag and the first thing that i will do here is that i will be providing a id to this form which is movie form and next we will be providing this auto complete to off so basically this will be turning off the auto complete option and now inside this first of all guys we will be having a form group class or bootstrap and inside this we will be having a input of type text and for this we don't need the name we only need the id so the id let's suppose i give it as movie and the placeholder will be simply be movie like this dot 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 and it i will also be providing a label which will be for the movie and this will be simply be movie name like this 
and now basically if I refresh it you will see that uh, I also need to provide a bootstrap class which is form control so basically it will take the input on the next line like this it will style it and also we also need to have a submit button for that we will again use the form group class and uh, here we will be having a button so in this will be input type of uh, or simply we can just use the button class so button btn btn danger this will be btn danger btn block and uh, now we will just give it a placeholder of uh, search movie like this now you can see that the interface is complete now we just need to hook up the values so basically here we will write javascript part here so just make a script tag and inside this guys first of all we will be targeting getting the reference to the form so we will write document ready function of jquery and here we will be targeting the form by its id which is movie form so when the form submits like this a callback function will be there and we will pass this event object and first of all we need to invoke this method which is event on prevent default so it will be preventing the auto submission of the form now after that we need to get the movie name which the user types for that we will be declaring a movie variable and uh, we will be targeting the movie input like this movie we will get the value by this val method and now we need to construct we need to just declare two more variables right here at the top which is api key variable and here we need to copy paste the api key that you have caught inside your email address right click copy paste it here and also we need to construct the query as well so in order to construct the query we will be having a url here so just after this you variable movie so the url is very simple guys so go back to the documentation uh, this is the documentation yes this is if i click the back option so this will give me this you can see that send all data requests to this api so i will just copy paste this url and here you just need to provide your api key so i will concatenate our api key variable like this that's it and now we just need to make a simple ajax request which is available inside jquery like this ajax and here we just need to pass some options first is the method what what is this method type so basically here we will be providing the get method we are making a get request second option is the actual url so what is the url so we will pass the url variable here and now we just need to concatenate uh, our uh, pass this option here at the and and t is equal to so basically we need to pass the query as well so the query is there inside the movie variable that's it so this we have constructed here our url and now we will have the success callback so when the request is successful this will return some data to us and uh, now we can just console log this data like this console log data and also guys just after you declare the form you will have its empty div which will i will be giving the id to it of result so here we will be displaying the movie information so just declare this and now just to test it i will go back to the uh, application right click inspect and uh, here i will be checking the console so here if i enter any kind of movie no entry and click on search movie so you will see that it will return this information inside the json response all this information is there you can see that title year released runtime all that stuff director actors as well so now we just need to construct and display this information inside our html so we will be declaring a result variable declaring it to nothing and now what we can do we can in, in, uh, use this variable sorry so 
result is equal to back tick symbol we will use to just write on multiple lines of HTML code and now inside this guys uh, first of all let me just uh, turn off the auto save and let me also delete this just to check the stuff what we get inside our object so if I again type here no entry So basically first of all we need to display this poster image which is there inside this uh, poster variable. So what we can write here result so we can just declare an image tag and the source will be equal to dollar. This is a way in order to uh, just embed dynamic variables so we can just write data dot poster. So this will be displaying the image to us and uh, we also need to give it a style attribute. We need to float the image to the left position so float left and also I will be giving a bootstrap class of uh, image img dash thumbnail. So this is a class you need to give. This is a bootstrap class and the width will be equal to 200. and the height also will be equal to 200 and lastly we just need to append this also so we will target the result div that we have constructed result dot html and we will pass this result variable like this control save to save the work now if I reload it if I enter the movie no entry click on search movie you will see that it will display this poster image on the line you can see that and now again we just need to display more information which is the title of the image and all that stuff so we will give h2 heading here inside this first of all we will populate the title which is there inside data.title So this will display the movie title and let me also have uh, I will display the released data also so I will just copy paste it here this will be data dot released one more time and this time I will display the runtime. one more time this will be uh, I think after runtime there is gen general so yes G E N R E after that we have one more information which is director actors one more information actors so mm. I think that this these information is enough now and uh, now if I want to save this work here if I turn on the auto save if I now reload search the movie no entry click search movie you can see that all this information is displayed on the screen you can see that no entry this is the release date runtime general director and actors I can just change the movie name that's supposed to this you can see that so in this easy way you can just make any a movie info app in seconds inside uh, JavaScript using the open movie database API so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button uh, subscribe the channel and uh, I will be seeing you in the next video thank you very much